With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. The cast I weave would be mine to command. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. It's I who should be saying such things. Do not think I leave you without a heart as heavy as your own. But I owe it to myself to follow where destiny leads. I'll never forget you. That I promise. And if you ever felt differently, there'll be a place waiting for you in the heavens. I swear, you ascend to unprecedented power one time, and then suddenly everyone's doing it. I do wonder how he'll fare when Mistra decides to crush him. <laughs> it could be quite the show. <laughs> but enough about the wizard. Let's talk about us. I owe you... A debt of gratitude. It is thanks to you that Gale, the wizard of Waterdeep, became Dicarios the Divine, god of ambition. Without you, he would not have survived the appetites of the tadpole. It would have feasted on that impressive mind of his, and all of his talent would have been snuffed out forever. But mere survival was not enough. Not for Gale. And not for you. Saving your world from the gods and monsters that threatened it wasn't enough. Gale wanted more. And you encouraged him to ignore every sensible instinct. To ignore the lesson of Carsus's folly. And to reach for the heavens. You were the spark that rekindled Gale's hubris and set him on a course that will make Celestia quake. I longed for the crown to satisfy my own ambitions, and I was furious that it had escaped me again. But I have assessed the situation pondered every variable, plotted every possible course. And I have come to realize that this is for the best. In time, long after you're gone, Gale de Karios will cause such division and chaos in these realms that even the Lords of the Hells will be aghast to see it. Ambition. <laughs> Such a delicious sin for mortal kind to indulge in. Such a dreadful weapon for an immortal to wield. The gods will be sundered. And from their ruin... I will rise. <laughs>